another cool thing about this whole system is that it's not something that has been just designed by a guy who's like, oh, okay, let me just design a system. It has been channeled to him. And the kind of irony here is that the person who channeled this whole material had no prior interest or knowledge of any of that. So when I'm talking to you about things like that, you just remember that there are things uh, that play within our um, psyche, within our world that are way beyond our comprehension, right? And that's all of us, you know, not only so many people who channel the whole um, on a very physiological level, because I'm explain to you in a moment why um, and and because uh, genetics, why genetics coming in here, because as we understanding the science of genetics now, it is binary code. Like computers have binary code zero and one, so is genetics. Our genetics is uh, based on binary code as well. And I Ching, that you know, very ancient book of changes in China, it is built on hexagrams, and hexagrams are drawn either one line as one or a line as zero, line with a break in between. So it's either, so there are 64 hexagrams and they are based either, so you will see them when you see them, you will see like six line specific about your line, you, because you're, you'll see profile, your profile five one, it's according to those hexagrams in those lines. You and I, we are time benders or manifesting generators. So time bender, it's a little bit of a more uh, poetic way to explain manifesting generator. What is manifesting generator? It's a hybrid of manifester and a generator. Altogether, there are five types. You're a manifesting generator. There is another type that is just generator. There's just manifestors that are only 8% of population. They're pretty rare. Then there is another type that is called projector. There are 20% of them. And then there's a reflector that is only like 1%. They're super rare. Um, but the most common types, it's manifesting generators. We are 30%. And then there are also generators that are also about 30%. Um, so we are, what makes us so cool and so special, we are designed to be a battery. We are designed to be a moving force, a moving power where life comes through us and moves through us. So basically, there are those other types that we call non-energy types. We, generators and manifesting generators, we are the energy types because we have sustainable energy. Specifically for you, you have that very great sustainable energy because you have, like you're like pretty much out there, you have all motors, which is energy type of channels, defined, meaning your energy is very sustainable, very strong. So kudos to you for being in fitness industry and doing this work because your body literally not only needs to be moving, in, for your body, it's healthy to move the energy out of your body. The time when you're not moving your body, the time when you're, you know, have no time or have no, um, let's say, choose not to move your body, you actually, that energy will be stagnating and literally eating you from the inside, okay? So movement is super important for manifesting generators. Your inner authority, you'll see it says inner authority, creative authority, or emotional authority. And I'll explain to you what that means in a second as I'll go through all of this wonderful figures, all this, all this geometry that is going on there. So emotional authority means that put it this way so 50 percent of population in the world emotional like you and i we are emotional authority and 50 percent unemotional i'll explain to you what defines that so we are on the emotional side we might not always even understand that we have this emotion because that has been a huge revelation for me personally i always thought that i'm like very chilled like emotionally calm person which i am but when you and I, when we have our emotional waves, when we have our emotional highs, we are super high. An environment around us, those usually it's unemotional beings that are around us, they're going to receive that energy, emotional high, amplified, and be even more on high. And they actually, in our environment, we will think that they are emotionally unstable because they go and amplify our energy that could be in a little tiny like droplet of it but they will amplify it, reflect it back to us. And we think, oh my God, they have so many emotions. Well, in fact, it's our emotions. That means good emotions and let's say not so good emotions. Again, there are no good or bad emotions. They're just waves, emotional waves, meaning 
we tend to go really high and pretty low. Maybe we got inspired just intuitively knowing that. We have learned to find the ways to uh, be more balanced when we are low. So these low lows are not affecting us that strongly. And maybe I'm just kind of reflecting on our work. Maybe that um, work has motivated, or maybe that emotional weight have motivated you and I to dive into those practices and dive into this knowledge of psychology so that we can really understand how that affects us and how this affects our environment in some way.